Hello and welcome to all you Geminis. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for October 2015. Big month for everyone in a good way and especially for Geminis because it's happening in a key area of your life. There are 12 houses, 12 areas of one's life and the key areas is the 1st, the 4th, the 7th and the 10th. And these are uh, some of them are activated for you and I'll talk about this. Um, it has been a long time that there has been so good positive aspects in the sky. And um, it doesn't always have to be challenging, does it? And of course, these are general horoscopes. Uh, so for some of you, it will be a hard time. But in general, there is very positive energy going on. Um, and it's in your fourth house. Uh, the ha it's a very intimate house, the fourth house. It's a very... Um, it's the house of your roots, it's the house of your home, it's the house of your family, it's the house of relatives, it's the house of where you're coming from. But it's also literally your home, your house situation. And there is a total emphasis on that now, with Venus there, with Mars in there, with Jupiter in there, and making a beautiful aspect with Pluto. With Pluto, having Pluto there uh, in Capricorn. So supporting, which is empowering, which is strengthening the energy that is going on in the fourth house. So um, this Pluto is in your eighth house, by the way. So let's, let's explain a little bit more. So yes, it's for all of us a good time to start something new. But for you Geminis, it's a good time to start what? What new? Fourth house things, fourth house situations. So that could be a new home, that could be a new family situation, that could be um, a new renovation, that could be um, um, that could be more activity at home, new activities at home because of Mars there, more meaning at home because of Jupiter there, more being uh, content with yourself because of Venus there. And all that supported by Pluto in the 8th house, which also has, is a very hidden, watery house. And it has to do on a very deep psychological, transformational level. So there are things shifting in your home situation for some Geminis upon you that is very transformational, but very positive, and very long term. So uh, that's good news for you Geminis, especially those of you who have been struggling with these things with these areas who have had maybe looking for a home looking for a better home looking for a bigger home maybe living with six people in tiny little area whatever so uh, or maybe having problems with family members um, there is a good opportunity now to start fresh to start new all over and that gives you the confidence because mars conjunct with jupiter is a confident kind of energy and trining with pluto means it's long lasting, it's transformational. So um, whatever your situation is, there is this very positive energy going on for you in key areas of your life. It could also have to do with uh, shared resources because it's your eighth house, the house of when you are in a relationship and you s share, for instance, um, a house together, a car together, whatever. It's good for that as well. Maybe uh, you're going to, um, I don't know, maybe you're going to get some transformation through the resources that you get by, by a spouse by, um, or by um, a heritage. Could be, could be that as well. Heritage could be that as well. Um, so that's good for you, Geminis. And Saturn in the seventh house. So Saturn has entered the seventh house and again key area of your life there's so much happening for you Geminis with the Saturn there in your opposing house of, of uh, relationships if you're not in a relationship it's a good time to, to get serious about a relationship and to think about what you want what you don't want and uh, maybe you're thinking about putting a little bit stronger boundaries because uh, maybe in former relationship you were too open uh, or in other cases, if you are in a relationship, the relationship is tested, absolutely, for better or for worse. But it's that time uh, of, of, uh, of um, moment in the relationship that it can make it a better relationship. But it can, when it was already very, very bad, um, it can make, break a relationship as well. But only when 
um, you know, this is not supporting you anymore. And not that the other person is a bad person, but it's just that Saturn um, is going to cut itself off from things or situations and people that are no longer serving you. Um, but again, for a lot of people, it would mean marriage. It will mean Saturn in the seventh house. I've seen that a lot. Uh, committing more on a higher level, on a serious level. I've seen a lot of people with Saturn in the seven to get children, for instance, because that is the sort of commitment. That is the, the positive side of Saturn in the seven. But of course, Saturn is not the most positive planet. So it means, and in that way, that you will have to work. You will have to work hard on your relationship, period. If you think, oh, my relationship, wah, it's going, oh, okay, I'm not going to do anything. Then it's going to be hard. Then it's going to be a wake up call, probably. So, very exciting uh, times for you, um, you Geminis. Make the most out of it. There, there is a new, fresh start. Um, on other level, with the new fresh start, it can be on you, your identity, you redefining yourself and reinventing yourself and feeling very good about that. Could be that as well. Um, thank you for sharing my videos, for supporting me. If you want in detail, uh, get in touch, uh, book a reading and um, wish you all the best, you Geminis. Have a good month. Bye bye.